good afternoon from Evie Girl. We've all had a really good day. Mr. James is napping on Peter while he works. And we're gonna fold some laundry. Wow, you're cute. outside not working I don't have a call to take from Epcot I had it earlier and we're we're feeling good we're at Epcot yeah we're at Epcot yeah guess how long we've been at Epcot we've been at Epcot for a while about 45 minutes <laughs> he needed dinner he did need dinner the yeah. timing worked out where he was snoozing for the ride and he had to eat so, so it's like 7 15 Mm -hmm. And we're about to go get an Epcot for the last like 40 minutes. Okay, now he's ready. Yeah, we added some <laughs> mittens and a hat. <laughs> he looks like he does not want this mitten on. Look, his hands just drooping. <laughs> Still have that new baby smile and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. We're about to baptize James in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Up Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is gorgeous. I do miss the monorail. Going by. DVC Lounge. Also, those photos from PhotoPass already came in, plus a little extra. Will you put them in now? Now let's get to World Showcase. I love, I love that they're using the construction walls for Festival of the Arts. Yeah. Horizon. Oh, look at the land. <gasps> oh, the best one of all. Spacious Earth. Wow. <laughs> and all of these pigments? We didn't see these last time. So, Grand Fiesta Tour says it's a five minute wait. The true test of the wait for Grand Fiesta Tour is the queue of the pavilion to get in. Right, because there's typically a line. I don't even think James has been in the pavilion at all. I don't think all. so. So, But it's literally 20 five, minutes until park close. Right, so hopefully the five minute wait time is a good indicator. Of the line, yeah. No way to get in the building. James, when you start your travels around the World Showcase, you always start with Mexico. Always. Always left. Always to Mexico. And it looks like there's not a single soul in line for the attraction. Yay! Let's go on the tour! He's nervous. <laughs> You're nervous, honey? You're gonna love it. Yes. <laughs> Got a whole boat. Whole boat. Got a whole boat. He loves the Grand Fiesta tour. Boom, boom. Just wait until you see silly three cameras. Still missing. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't find <laughs> Another first ride. Frozen. <laughs> May not be Maelstrom. Oh. <laughs> it's still the same track though. Ten minute wait. Here we go. We swapped bag and baby. We're gonna have a good old time. We're just gonna quote Maelstrom the whole time. 10 minute wait or more like 3 minutes? Yeah. And then we're going to take the world's slowest lap around World Showcase. Oh yeah, we're right at park close. Yes. Oh, you're going to Elsa's ice 
flowers, spent James like it. He loved it. Actually, he was content doing it the whole time. He's very content. He actually yawned at one point, so apparently. And he, he handled the drafts great. Yeah. He's a pro. So far, what do you think his favorite attraction is? I think Dumbo? Space of Earth. Oh, that's right, Space yeah. of Earth. Yeah. He was very, very aware and very excited. And now the best part about what we did a closed Epcot. I think we're still gonna hold them. We're gonna grab our stroller, go the rest of World Showcase in a very empty, very calm Thursday night getting ready for the weekend. A three day weekend for Peter. I know. But after the week I've had, yeah. we needed the this. two weeks. We needed this night and we need this weekend. Yes, and we've got exciting plans this weekend. Yeah. Do you ever feel like when they were building Epcot, they like made a Mexico ride and they made an Ori ride and then they're like, we're too tired, we're not going to make any more rides. Um, yeah, I'd have to say I agree with that, and I think so does James. He also <laughs> says, let's get rolling! I don't think they truly did, but I think it's a funny coincidence. I think this is his first Awake World Showcase this, this is by far his most Awake theme park visit. For sure. And I'm literally going to burst into tears. <laughs> we're showing so. him Germany. Are you starting Our to ancestors. Is this the only thing that overlaps in our heritages? I believe so. Apparently you're a little Irish. But we are definitely both German. Well, apparently James has a two attraction limit. <laughs> He's fading fast. He loves Christmas trees and I felt like he misses ours already. So there's actually still one out. Uh -huh. And there's some in the windows and we were looking at them enjoying them. You truly are a book cart. Yep. Oh gosh. And that means you can fall asleep anywhere. <laughs> a little after hours. I'm assuming that's the Voices of Liberty practicing. A little stage setting. So a little blocking. Normal clothes. Right? Actually, I wonder what outfits they're wearing. Because if they're singing like contemporary Disney songs, it doesn't necessarily mean they're in colonial outfits. They're in like, I've seen videos and it, they look fancy. Okay. Jamesy boys back awake, just need a little. A little power nap. Power nap. Now he's looking at the tree. He loves Christmas trees. The Spode teapot is still out. I don't think we've showed it this year. But this is Spode, the same stuff that we collect in the UK pavilion. It's massive, like, for height reference. Oh. It's huge! So we were here the other day walking around just like this. And I look at, at this lovely lady here and I go, can we have this in our backyard someday? She can. said yes. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. It's actually cut out with the red. Yeah. Because we're Canadian too. Yeah, oh, I just saw a bat. What? I just saw a bat. Did you get it on the on the film? On the vlog? I don't. Did you I know that we use a film camera? No, we don't. You're nuts. Also, look at. There's a second barge out. Now there's two. You can't tell on the camera, but they're absolutely massive. It honestly makes me a little nervous that you we won't get the huge vista of the skyline mm -hmm. sunlight. I didn't think about that until today. Right, because they're there, be they're weird. stationary. So grand and miraculous. This is the first time we've seen these sewer cats. Can we have one for our future backyard? This is an exhausted baby after very thrilling two new attractions. Her first, the first is comfy dad over, you know. The bugaboo? The stroller. That is crazy. Have we ever been here with the parking lot this empty? Not even during Run Disney. There's a couple of cars. 
There's you also, right here, like there's not. There's not a car. Not a car. Let's just stay. Let's all just night. Pitch uh, and then we'll park we'll rope drop. Yeah. We got enough clothes for him. Yeah, true. <laughs> hey cutie pie. <laughs> Look at those arms up in the air. Dad's on a run. I think we're gonna turn on maybe a Disney movie and just relax. When'd you get so old? <gasps> Are you taller than your docketot now? Now that is crazy. Oh, big yawn. Check it out. Not at Disney anymore. I am in the middle of my run. Been a while since I showed you this view, hasn't it? It's like 48 degrees, but no breeze, so it's cold but not terrible. Check it out, Park Avenue, still doing their thing. No weekends, the street closes on the weekend so the food and stores can expand into the street for social distancing. Feels good to get the miles on my legs and in my lungs and in my heart. Gotta stay as healthy as I can for that little, little baby boy and that puppy and that best friend of mine and all the end babies we have a nice down the street. Time to go home. It's been a good run. I am just going to do the daily message now so we can just go to bed right when Peter gets back. Be in love with your life every minute of it. Jack Kerouac. I had a good run. I'm home and it seems all of my friends have gone to sleep. So with that, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for always supporting us during all of our adventures and especially this very special one going back to Chicago. I truly know it's going to be just as exciting every single day as it is has been living here in, in Disney World and Orlando and Universal and everywhere. Like, you don't know Chicago like Sarah and I are going to show you. And we can't wait to go along with that adventure with you. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.